surely die. But when somebody dies, it matters so much to society. High Chief Raymond Deposi tossed lives. And it's not just being sad, but very, very shocking. It's one person who, not because of political office he held, but because of his own ingenuity and creativity, impacted lives towards human beings, towards people. And just all of a sudden, we just finished inauguration of the president and to hear that we have lost such a person. It's very, very devastating, especially to me. He meant so much to me. He has done so much for me. The minute I left office, he's a person, when I lost election, that celebrated me in this compound just to give me some hope that I still have friends even after losing election. And since I left office, whenever I have to do with media, AIT gives us maximum assistance. So, apart from the direct family people, the wives and the children, I think I'm one person who will miss Raymond Debus. We just pray that God should give the immediate family the fortitude to bear the loss. The Kwasi died while using a treadmill machine as part of recuperation from an illness. Info just with the news. The statement issued on the director of that communication, Tony Akiotu, stated that Mr. Dokwesi was recovering from an undisclosed illness and had to do routine exercise as part of recuperation. He further stated that the media mogul was sick for some weeks before the fall that claimed his life, adding that the disease was using the machine to exercise before the tragic event happened. The Board and Management of Dark Communications PLC wishes to inform the general public of the death of our founder, High Chief Raymond Dokwesi, of which the sad event occurred on the 9th of May 2023. He had been ill for the last few weeks but was on his way to full recovery. He had a fall off his treadmill during a routine gym exercise. For the announcement regarding the burial arrangement to be made by the family, the statement reads, The disease, who was 71 years of age, was a veterinarian media entrepreneur who owned televisions and radio stations, media tycoon and founding manager, Dark Communications, Raymond Dopasi. His death was confirmed in a statement on Monday, chairman of Dark Communications, Raymond Dopasi Jr. And just in case you do not know who Raymond Dokwasi the senior is, here are 10 things you should know about him. He was born on October 25, 1951. And the media tycoon had his primary education at the Beniza African Church School and proceeded to Immaculate Conception College in Benin City for his secondary school education. For tertiary education, he attended the University of Benin for traveling abroad for his master's and doctorate degrees in the University of garden sports in Poland. He also worked in the Nigerian Port Authority as a Marine Office Cadet in 1969. Dokwasi was the first person to get license for private radio broadcast in Nigeria with real power 100.5 FM. His television station, African Independent Television, was the first African broadcast station to transmit to the USA. He served as the Chief of Staff of the Gongola State Government from October to December 1983 and subsequently the Managing Director of the African Ocean Line Limited from 1984 to 1988. 
The late media tycoon was arraigned by the anti graft agency in 2016 and charges relating to money laundry and breach of procurement act in relation to the disembursement of the 2.1 billion naira from the Colonel Mohammed Sambu Dusuki led office of a national security advisor. He was charged and acquainted by the Court of Appeal in Abuja on April 1, 2021. He has also worked with different government parastatals, including the Federal Ministry of Transport and Aviation, as the head of Water Transport Division on Secondment to form Nigerian Port PLC between 1978 to 1983. In, 20, in 2008, Dr. Seal was conferred with the National Honor of the Office of the Federal Republic, OFR, and he was established the first indigenous shipping line in Nigeria. Finally, he contracted COVID-19 and survived the global pandemic. That's all you need to know on the diseased founder of Dark Communications Limited, Raymond Dopasi. Do well to stay tuned to Info just for more updates.